Those of you who have tuned in to see a road test of the Bentley Continental will no doubt be disappointed to learn that just two days before we were due to film it, somebody turned it into a banana-shaped Bentley. Well, you can take heart for two reasons. First, you're not as disappointed as I am, and second, we've got something just as special. Forwards and in the back, unlike most Jeeps of this type, there really is space for a couple of people, especially if you take the roof off. However, there is one problem the boot. The ball's thrown in. Mrs. Wilson, Nidal stops it. An unconventional way of scoring a goal and against the spirit of the game. Clarkson again. His hands again. That'll be disallowed, but it's a goal. And there's no doubt at all that Ford are still on the right track with their new coupe, the American-made Cougar. So, with just two cars left, we arrive at the Nissan 200SX, which, like the BMW, isn't a proper coupe. It also has a Nissan badge and an interior which appears to have been designed by Lord Irvine. So, what's it still doing in the running? Well, I'll show you. You see, on Top Gear, we found one that you can buy in Britain, no tricks, brand new, for less than £9,000. This is it. It's the Citroen Blingo Multispass. And I admit, it's a curious looking thing. Right, the new Ford GT. I used one recently in the race we had from New York to the Niagara Falls. And I'm not sure that on a freeway journey like that, I got the best out of it. Yeah, he chose the wrong car. Well, not really. No, he's right, you did. Well, the GT was designed as a racing car, as we know. In fact, it won the first time out at Le Mans, mm. and therefore, as we know, using one on the street is stupid. Yeah, so you're saying I should have tested it on a track? Yes. Mm. Good, because I have done. 